What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. It's been a while since I made another video. I've been busy at home doing a lot of stuff. Ever since I did the slab, I had to move the uh, sheds over. We're gonna work on the motor today that's going on to the OBS. But um, somebody stopped by today and they were like, hey, they knew I had a trailer and they wanted me to give them a tow. My truck broke down. You think you're uh, able to um, tow my truck? So I was like, yeah. But right now we're on our way. We hooked up the trailer. We're gonna go pick up the truck and see what's going on with it. What's up, man? So what happened to it? You don't know? Tranny went that so, one. So, the homie stopped by, he said his truck broke down, so we're gonna check it out, try and tow it. So the tranny went out? Yeah, the tranny went out. Damn. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna tow it, we're gonna load it up in the truck. Damn, it's clean, right? Oh, thank you. You think we can drive it up on the trailer or what? Uh, I'll try it. <laughs> if not, I got the winch. Let me take out the ramps. It's driving me insane Silence rattles in my brain Yeah, I gotta get away Always waiting for the fall So I build my tablets tall Just picked up the truck guys i guess he said that this transmission went out on it so he can't even drive it we got the winch we got it all hooked up we got it loaded already you see it in the back we're gonna go drop it off at his house these guys uh, actually invited us um to a truck and treats like two weekends ago for halloween they put on a, a nice uh truck and treats they did a lot of giveaways and uh they gave out um tvs they gave out bicycles for the kids and everything but uh, I'll go ahead and post their IGs. Once we get over there, um, I'll get their IGs, put their IGs on there. Their supporters as well. I know if, um, a few of the a few of the guys they watch it, they watch the YouTube channel, so I appreciate it. So let's head over to their house and uh, drop off their truck. All right, guys, we just got here. Dang, he looks like he's got an OBS too. Check it out. He got an OBS as well. They got OBS too? You got two OBS. You even got a white one. Okay. What year is this? 86. 86? Yeah. No, I mean, no, 96, right? 96. You got a nice clean OBS as well. Is that three that way? That's mine, man. That one's yours? Yeah, man, but I'm still fixing it, man. I still got Damn. a bunch of things. I'm fixing it. We got a bunch of things. I got the wheels. I'm about to fix that four, too. I'm put a, I'm gonna put like the, the four. We're going to put a big old wire, like the old style. We're going to go back with it. Man, this thing looks clean too. Damn, the interior is clean as mint, dude. These are original seats? Yeah, the original seat, man. Damn, these things are clean. Yeah, I got a, that, we just barely like a, two weeks ago, we got a sunroof on it. Oh, damn. Yeah. 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 Oh, shit. We got some work that we need to done to it, man. We just got no time. Yeah. It's just bad though. You got some Jeep bodies too? Yeah. This one, this one I smashed <laughs> on one side. Oh, is this the one, oh, you, one you crashed? Yeah, this is the one I crashed. Oh, shit. Yeah. Still got the engine and everything on it. You guys had a black one too, no? Yeah, that's my brother. He got the black you still one. got the black yeah, one? Yeah, that one's just marked at home. What about the black cat eye? You don't want to get rid of it? <laughs> no. <laughs> that one? Yeah. Nah. yeah. Good. You don't want to get rid of those wheels? Six oh. Nah, yeah, it's from. I'm trying to put the other ones back. I want to get those wheels, the snowflakes from my wife's escalator. What about that four? You want to get rid of it? I got a buddy. He's got a You're SVT lightning. motor. Nah. He got a lightning motor for it. Yeah, that's what I was thinking about, that's what I was thinking about doing with it. But I was trying to get all this fixed. And after I get that fixed, <laughs> that, that puppy's going to be here. You're going to get working that done. One by one. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes, sir. Well, let's get this thing unloaded. Yeah. Reverse works, but not, not drive. Yeah. Let's go straight. Yeah. 
Yeah, the tranny went bad on that. That's the tranny fluid. Uh, that's it? Yeah, that's it. Alright, let's push it. Put it in neutral. Yeah, now he's gonna go with a bigger engine on that. Beautiful on these trucks. Hell yeah. Right there. Guys, we're getting ready to head out. Make sure you guys give these guys a follow. They're on Instagram. What's your ID, man? It's uh, one fast eighty eight. Roberto L underscore zero nine. There you guys go, Roberto, right there. Make sure you guys follow him. All right, man. Catch okay. you guys later. Right, thank you, man. Appreciate it. Thank you, man. Thank you. All right, man. Right, See you, we. Right, later, man. You guys need anything else? Let me know, man. All right, I will, man. Thank All you, right. Man. Appreciate it. Thank right. you. See you, man. All right. All right, guys. So we made it back. I haven't been making videos. We've been really, really busy. You guys can see we got the slab already done. And we got the OBS back. But check it out. I'm going to show you guys how it came out. Uh, and we'll talk to you guys a little bit of why it went back into the shop. When I first got it back, the guy that painted it didn't do a good job. So I'm not going to mention who he was or who painted it. I'm just not going to put anything about him. I'll let you guys know what was wrong. To start, on the door jams. You can tell on the door jams when um, he painted it that there was a two color difference on here. There was two different colors. So when he blended it in, he didn't blend it in right. I don't know how he painted it or what his way of painting is, but it was not good. And then on here on the bed, there was like pieces of masking tape where he forgot to take off and it was painted over so when he finished painting it he took the tape off and it was still there you know there's a bunch of little stuff that I just was not happy with one of the big thing was um, when I was gonna remove the motor I was gonna take it back to him so he can paint the firewall which this time the firewall came out freaking beautiful the truck now looks up I would want to say a hundred times better but it does look a lot better than when it was. He buffed it out and everything. I'm not 100% happy with the paint job, but I am probably 70, 75% happy with it now. Today, we're gonna be actually working on the motor. Now, my compadre is gonna be giving me a hand. If you guys have seen the videos, he put the 6.2 in his truck. Originally, he was gonna put the 6.0 in his truck which is this motor right here that he bought and he got a really good deal on this motor which he was going to put that in his truck but we ended up finding that Yukon and getting the 6.2 which we actually got a really good good deal on um, on that Yukon so he got his 6.2 that he originally wanted I told him if you're selling this motor I better be the one that you sell it to so I got my hands on it now originally we said we were going to throw the 5.3 in here we're gonna throw the 5.3, which we still have the 5.3. I still have the pistons, I still have the heads. I still have everything that was originally gonna go on the on the 5.3. But since we have a 6.0 now, I'm just gonna throw a 6.0, make it naturally aspirated. We're gonna cam it, throw the 7.99 heads on there. We're gonna throw everything that we already have onto this motor. Today we're just gonna start taking it apart. We're gonna try and get the pulley off. We're gonna try and get the heads off. That way um, we can start painting the block. I'm gonna paint the block and start on the build now we finally got stuff um i don't have all the parts right now but i'm gonna go inside and grab the parts that way i can show you guys all the stuff that we bought already everything that's gonna go into the truck we got a cam we got the trunnion kit we got lifters we got the whole nine yards for this motor but today we're gonna try and knock out as much as we can and get it on the video see how far we get you know we're running out of day daylight we had to go tow that guy's truck today but shout out to those guys for hitting me up. I made a quick buck right there. More parts money. But uh, we're going to go ahead and um, try and work on this motor and see how far we can get. So let me grab the parts. I'll show you guys everything that I have so far. The cam is not in. They haven't sent out the cam. I went with a Vengeance Racing Cam. One of their custom spec cams. But they didn't have any in, um, in stock. And they have to send it out to get a custom grind. I'm waiting on just the cam. I got everything else. Besides the cam, but as soon as the cam gets here, we'll be able to throw it in there. But since we're going to be painting the valve covers, we're going to be painting the block, we're going to be doing, you know, a lot of stuff on it to make it look clean. 
we're gonna start on that while we wait on the cam and try and get everything that we possibly can done to this and then also the heads is gonna take a long time I've never ever done the heads so we're gonna do the training kit on it it's gonna be a first time for me and my compadre we're gonna learn and hopefully we can get this training kit on the on the rockers and it'll be a learning process for us so let me get these parts together and we'll start working on this motor I'm gonna show you guys everything we got it's like Christmas again so we went with the dual um, springs from from vengeance but they i guess uh supply from btr we also got the arp cam bolts with some chromoly push rods so we got everything we're just waiting on the cam i went ahead and i went to um harbor freight and we bought some uh pulley extractors so we're gonna go ahead and try and get the pulley taken off <laughs> Right, guys so I stopped recording because we had some issues when we were taking apart the motor the motor wouldn't turn over as soon as I noticed that I thought that was not good so but it's probably my fault on my end I probably left the motor outside sitting for longer than what I should have but what is done is done there's nothing I can do about it now I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys some footage um, of what happened we have the motor already taken apart. We went ahead and took off the heads. We went ahead and took off the pistons and everything. So it doesn't look good. I was able to break the pistons free. Um, we have the pistons now out of the block. As you guys can see, we got the heads off. We got everything taken off. The crank is still in the block because I didn't want to take the crank uh, off. I was able to pull out every single piston without a problem besides two of them, which were cylinders number one and five these ones were the worst what I did was um I took off all the other pistons and then these two pistons I left them soaking in transmission fluid for one whole day I came back and I tried to uh, and turn it over but it wouldn't turn over so I didn't know what to do at that point so what actually worked for me which if you guys in the future have an issue like that give it a shot I filled these two cylinders up with vinegar and left it for maybe a whole day and then I drained it out and blew it, blew the rest of the vinegar out with with the uh, with the air nozzle, and then I put some more um, transmission fluid in there, and I said, you know what, I'm gonna give it a crank and hopefully it breaks uh, loose. So I gave it a little a little uh, turn and it broke free really really quick. So the good thing about this motor is that this motor was fairly new which is probably the reason why it broke really easy and it wasn't as bad as it was this motor probably has at least a thousand miles on it the guy we bought it from has put it in a van a company vehicle they wrecked the vehicle they put it in per se monday with and they took it out like within a couple days and the people never came back for the motor or never came back for the motor or the van so we bought the motor and we got a really good deal so it's fairly new which is uh the reason why it broke fee it broke free really easy let me show you guys the cylinder i got them cleaned up pretty darn good but i am not a hundred percent happy with the way they came out they still have a little bit of um like rust or they got some stains on it that i'm not really happy with i'll go ahead and show you guys there's some stains right there that i'm not happy with and obviously um there's like other little other little stains right here that I'm not 100% happy with. There's some on this one, and then there's some on this one. So long story short, what we're gonna do today is um, I already have it to the point where it, um, it's all taken apart. Um, the crank, everything is good. Everything else looks good. The pistons look really, really, really good. I'll go ahead and show you guys one of the pistons. It looks amazing. Like these things. These things are brand spanking new. So we don't know if these pistons are any good. Um, some of them look pretty good, but uh, I'm gonna take it to the machine shop today and they're gonna give me their opinion and see if I neither can get away with um, honing it and cleaning up the cylinders 
or if I need to board out. So I'm already thinking the worst that I'm gonna have to board out. So um, if we do, then I guess that's what we're gonna have to do. But I'd hate to put all the money that I've already invested in parts and stuff and throw it in the motor and then either lose compression or whatever else can happen. We got everything already here. The cam did come in already. We have the cam already. So this motor is pretty darn close to get put back together. But at least we got everything to start on this motor and make some videos, make some good content for you guys. But today we're going to go ahead and get this block out of here. I'm going to set up my uh, cherry picker and we're going to go ahead and get it loaded in my truck and head out to the shop. I gotta save me from myself. The sentiness, it hurts like how my good intentions let me down. So we just got here they're getting ready to open up so they're not quite open yet but we're here we're gonna talk to the guys see what he tells me i recommend boring it i mean it's like hands down i mean it's like i would i mean just because it can run i mean we're not trying to escape you know zombies or cuba so it's not like we have to try and like you know make it work mm -hmm. but i will tell you that whatever has started will continue you know it's not like that this is just gonna go away mm -hmm. um I mean, I can like, <clears throat> it's not the worst. I mean, we can own it and see what's left afterwards and make sure that the bore is still the correct dimensions afterwards. Yeah. Because when you're even honing, um, you know, removes a little bit of material. So, mm -hmm. so if you want it to go right, planning on it to be right would be mm -hmm. to boring it. boring it out. And I mean, and at that point, you're gonna end up with a 6.2 liter. Because we're going yeah. to, you know, 4.2 something into. So I definitely need bigger pistons, though, right? Yeah, but I mean that's pretty much those. it. So you'd be using your rods. Uh, consider if the crank is never, if you just took it apart, was the it was tired, and the crank didn't spin any bearings and stuff like that. I mean, you can pretty much classify them as standard. Mm -hmm. I'll just double check and then, uh, okay, you know, polish the crankshaft, uh, you know, bore the block, you know, clean everything. Um, I recommend new lifters of uh, an upgraded gear where they don't have as much of a uh, roller failure okay. because that's what kills the camshaft. Um, well, I wish I brought them because I, I ordered the uh, OEM LS7 lifters. That's what I have. Yeah, 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 but they're probably full skirted. So what it is is like there's an older style where they they looked the end of the ro the side of the roller had a squarish shape to it and it would allow it to get damaged and, and okay. needle bearings could fall out. Well, the okay. newer ones are fully shielded so the sides of it pretty much have the same shape as the roller okay so it doesn't allow anything to escape from it um but yeah i mean those should be fine i guess i mean if you recommend boring it out and it's obviously going to be a little it's going to be for sure good yeah. Yeah, then yeah. I'd, I'd rather do that because it's going to be a lot safer than me uh, dumping the money in there and then uh, something mean, failing like later on i, just, well, I, I mean, hate like, to see that <laughs> the last one i built did 1300 horsepower so yeah i mean you know it's like on a pretty much uh, what I would consider an underbuilt setup, Gen 4 rods, Yeah. you know, just ARP everything, um, and <clears throat> I mean, it's still holding true, but that was on the guides that we made sure that the bores were true, and, yeah. you know, everything was visibly, and by the numbers, in good spec. All right. So, you know, there is no, hey, what's your, can you hone it out, and yeah. maybe this will work spec, so... Yeah. So then I guess we'll we'll play it safe yeah. and board out. <laughs> I'd rather be safe than sorry. So we just left the shop. So we decided to leave the block. We're gonna go ahead and just board out, play it safe. I'd rather be safe than sorry. I don't wanna put this motor together and then something happened and there goes all that money that I that I invested in the motor. 
I've been investing a lot of money on this truck and this motor. I'd rather do it right than uh, do it twice. We're gonna wait on their call. Hopefully uh, they can get the block done pretty quick. Next weekend is um, holiday weekend, it's Thanksgiving, so um, it's gonna be a short week for them, so it'll probably be till so it'll probably be until next weekend when I'll be able to get it. That's gonna be it for this video. I just want to give a huge thank you to everybody that has subscribed to the channel. I really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much. We've hit 325 subscribers, so I'm really, really happy and thankful for you guys. Those of you guys that have not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. Hit that subscribe button. Make sure you guys hit that like button. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of the videos. I'm working on a giveaway for for a thousand subscribers. So if we can hit a thousand subscribers, I will go ahead and give a full detailing kit to one of my lucky subscribers. Um, that will be on me. I will personally purchase it and I will ship it out to you guys along with a free shirt, Broke Boy Bill shirt with a sticker. Once again, thanks to everybody that has subscribed. If you guys haven't checked out the website, check out the website, BrokeBoyBuilt.com. Get yourself a shirt, Broke Boy Built shirt. Get yourself a sticker. We got air fresheners in stock now. Check out the website and um, cop your merch. And anything you guys purchase will go again, go towards this build. So stay tuned for some more videos. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace. Thanks for watching.